Now new tonight, a Simsbury homeowner found a terrifying intruder inside his house. It was a large black bear. Channel 3's Roger Susanna is joining us now live from the scene of this bear break in. And Roger, I guess the scariest thing is this kind of thing is happening more often. Yeah, Denise and Con police say that the bear population is rising and that means bear interactions are on the rise as well. Now, investigators believe that this particular bear came out of the wooded area here behind Pine Glen Road. Now, the good news, though, is the homeowner in this situation did everything right. Bear sightings here in Simsbury, like the ones you see in this footage, are not unusual. But imagine one of these furry critters crashing into your house. It happened to a family here on Pine Glen Road on Easter Sunday. Luckily, no one was inside at the time, and the homeowner called 911 right away. Tell me exactly what happened. I just got back to my house, and there's a bear inside the house. Are you outside? I'm in the garage. Uh, I left the door open to the house, so hopefully he, he walked out, but he hasn't. Okay, is there any damage inside? Yes, it looks like a lot, but I didn't get that far in when I saw him. Investigators say the bear smashed through a screen door and then ran amok in the family's kitchen. Neighbors say the homeowner was understandably upset. He wasn't calm. He, he came over and he said, there's a blankety blank bear in my house uh, in, the, in the kitchen. Other homeowners learned about the situation through a text alert. The Zoll family lives just three doors down and watched as environmental police responded. We saw the police waiting outside and the uh, uh, Department of Environmental Protection coming in and three guys with guns about to enter the house. Environmental police often deal with bear sightings. In the last year, DEEP took reports of 8,622 bear sightings around the state. The top three towns for sightings are all in the Farmington Valley area. People living in Simsbury reported 611 sightings. Farmington had 513 and Avon had 434. But a bear entering someone's home is far more uncommon. And sadly, Encon police say this bear's ear tag indicated it had been inside multiple homes in the last year. So by law, they had to euthanize it. It was pretty sad because it's a bear it's just doing what a bear does. But knowing that the bear had broken into multiple houses, I think even relocating it would have been a little dangerous. Now you can find a full list of bear safety tips right now on the Channel 3 app. Reporting live in Simsbury tonight, I'm Roger Susanin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.